Hello. Hi. Rochelle and Kat here for Dreaming English, and today we're going to talk about St. Patrick's Day. And we'll also be talking a little bit about Irish step dancing, which you'll be able to see. Some videos of Kat Irish step dancing, and we'll talk about that as well. As I do Irish step dancing. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you her dress, a very beautiful velvet dress that she wears for that. But today we're going to we're also going to talk about the traditions of St. Patrick's Day. So, um, so let's see, what, when is St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. And that? This is St. Patrick's Day right here. Right that. there, March 17th. So it would be March 17th. So basically it's celebrating a saint that the Irish people believed in called St. Patrick and he didn't actually exist a very long time ago. He wasn't actually from Ireland, which yes, he was the not. people, um, this St. Patrick's Day really celebrates St. Patrick who went to Ireland, which is here. But he wasn't from there. He wasn't from Ireland. Uh, and. It was either the day he was born or the day he died. That's why it's March 17th, um, his day. And one of the colors of Ireland is green. So their flag, which you can see a picture of the flag down here. And the flag is green and orange and white. And the green is for the green of the country. It's very beautiful with lots of trees and lots of grass. The orange is for um I'm not sure what the orange is for. But you know what? We're going to have a little video that's going to start right now by her teacher that's going to tell you about that. The Irish flag which we don't have any here. Um, I have three stripes, green, white, and orange. Green on one side stands for the Catholics, the orange on the other side stands for the Protestants, and the white between them stands for the peace we finally had in the Emerald Isle. Um, it was used um, slightly up in, in the 1848s, but it became the national flag in 1937 when we, some of us, some of the country became a free state. And then the white stands for peace, I know that much. So I can draw a picture of their flag too. Um, so what else about, there's leprechauns. I don't remember the flag, which color is I which. Know. Katerina will draw a picture. Of the Katerina is our resident artist, so, which she's get standing in my way. I'm sorry. She's the resident artist, so she's gonna draw the flag. Can you color in the other bits? Okay, ah, orange. yes, this is the orange part. Okay. So I, I didn't remember that, what, which one was which. But here is the flag, and so you would see the green that's standing for all the grass. The green here, and the orange, and the white kind of like a cloud. The white stands for peace. Okay, so the rainbow is all about the leprechauns. Because according to their myths, there was a thing. Yes, a thing. That's, that's what I'm describing them as. And this thing is called a leprechaun. And it is they're, like they're a... They're little people, little a elves, little I guess. little man. And it's tradition to say, if you lost something, if I can't find this marker and I'm looking everywhere for the marker, I say, oh, it was the leprechauns. Because they stole it for some reason. Mm-hmm. And lots of children, lots of children, you can see a picture here, they, um, in this time in March, they make leprechaun traps, which you can see some pictures of leprechaun traps that children have made um, below us. You know a lot more because she, she was at the show, I was in the back 
getting ready to right go on she was for getting her dances. dress and her shoes on and stuff and I was listening to Anne but I also remember your brother Vincent making a leprechaun trap when he was in the second grade I don't think that you had that as a we did assignment. not have that so basically um, there are these little men that have like orange but mostly red beards um, not well, really. they, they, they like to they like to hide things from us. Um, can you, I don't and then the cap one. I have the cap. Okay. So the idea of the pot of gold is that this is the leprechaun's pot of gold, and he's and like if you were to find the end of a rainbow, the end of a rainbow that you would find a pot of gold. And he has his. But I have never found the end of a rainbow. Oh. That's because rainbows don't end. Yeah, exactly. Rainbows I, are actually a full circle. We only see part of it, though. A full so circle. So it looks like, like an arch. Like this. But we only see the arch part. We see the arch of it. Uh, when I was a little girl, I used to I used to look around. I looked around to try to find that end of the rainbow. Where did it end? Because I was hoping I would find the pot of gold. Um, let's just say his pants are white. Because I'm not drawing more color. I guess you can have green pants. And basically, they live in the forest. So they can steal things. Like... For instance, they can steal your phone. Your, yeah, your cell phone. They it cannot, is. since they're... So at first people I'm would be always, like... I'm always, always looking for my cell phone. So where, so like at first in the olden days when people, uh, in back in their traditions, they used to believe that they would steal things like... Like... Oranges? Oranges, or maybe... Food. Oh, they're quill pens. They're quills. It's a weird so it's orange. a way to write a quill pen. Would be... Maybe they're... Why did I do this? Why did I do this? This, this pen doesn't work Why? good. That's wrong. So you can see a quill pen below. They also can steal parchment. Oh yeah, old old fashioned paper that you would write on, and the quills, which are a feather pen. From but a now, since they're um, since there's a lot more modern things, they can steal your cell phone. They can your cell phone, steal your wallet. <laughs> they can steal your wallet. They can wallet, steal your which can have your your credit card in it money and your so your money credit card but nowadays because as you know we don't really use gold coins anymore no 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 we more use bills so does that mean that they have a pot of bills I think that's what it means. The, they have a pot. They have a pot of cash, a pot of money. Uh, they're very rich leprechauns. They have all the money. Mm -hmm. All the money that I lost and my cell phone. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Please subscribe and like and put your comments below of future things that you'd like to hear about. Yep, thanks. Thanks for Bye. watching. Yep, that's it. Uh, recording.